can't believe how big that animal is. There you go. First moose of the season. We have our resident tree expert here, Matthew Ansel. He's gonna tell us a little bit about this cool little tree that we found here. This is a tamarack. It's a conifer that drops its needles in the winter time. So they'll turn a bright yellow and then drop and then they'll grow new needles in the springtime. And they're very soft and they grow in these sort of bunches here along the, along the branches and stems. Sort of unusual to find in the area here. It is a little unusual? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool then. Yeah. Great start to the trip. We just saw a moose. Is the moose still there? Mr. Moose. Might still be there. We had to pull over because we just we saw a moose and there's no way we were gonna. There she is. She's still wandering. She's in no hurry to, to go anywhere. How are these bugs doing, Matt? So there's quite a bit of mosquitoes. Less black flies than I would have thought. Got a campsite uh, permit for Farm Lake. We're gonna maybe look at going to the far end there towards the ranger cabin. Set up a base camp. Get our uh, camp set up and then maybe from there, two portages into Booth Lake. Maybe do some trout fishing a bit later on. Alex has his fly rod. Hopefully we'll get him on some brookies on the fly. That'd be all right. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Man, I can't even hold the camera still right now because like there's just too many mosquitoes biting my hands. Look at this. Pink. There's three of them just right here. Sorry, I couldn't handle that anymore. <laughs> the bugs are thick, but I'm just in my little zone in here. It's my world, not the mosquitoes world. We may have just found our site for the night. Beautiful. I could live here. I can live here for a night. <laughs> right here. We could just do a little bit of a rake drop. Get raking, man. Bruce. The tree man in his natural territory. White or black? I'm no professional. It's one of the two. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not trying to say I'm an expert here. I'm just a guy who's curious. I haven't graduated yet. Yeah. I'm not an expert yet. Yeah. Got a nice tight knot on this now. Hopefully we're gonna be able to provoke a strike with this. Matt, second cast of the season. Got himself into a pretty big snag. I might, uh, when we go out, I might just put on a uh, Swedish pimple or something. And you can, you can hit the surface a bit, or subsurface. Sleep under the stars a bit? Yeah, I'd be down to sleep under the stars. Zero percent probability of showers.
So the bugs are pretty bad out here right now. These bug shirts are the only thing keeping us in the game. We actually just saw another canoe paddle past and they said that they're booking out early this weekend because they couldn't handle the bugs. Nice protected zone where I get to live my life in comfort out of the way of bugs with a beer. It's like, I don't know, like it's, it doesn't get much better than this, I don't think. Quick little jaunt, jumping around the dam from Kitty Lake into Kitty Lake. Determined, provoking face. Oh, we got one. Matt's got to deal with this knot rocket out here. Awesome little site here on Booth Lake. Got a staircase going from the water all the way up to the site. We pulled over on an island just to grab some food, filter some water really quick, and change our fishing gears. It's a bite saying so far today. Oh, well, the snags are biting hard. <laughs> oh man. Oh. We gotta change that. All right, so we just got down to the bottom of Booth Lake and it was a tough grind today. We spent a couple hours out here just fishing with no luck. Well, you know, certain people had luck. Matt got a pike. Little guy. Gave us, so we're not skunked at least. But a little disappointed that we didn't get uh, any other little guys? I would have liked to have seen what that first fish was that hit me right away. It felt like a good fish, but got off immediately. So it could very well have been a pike. I mean, there are pike in this lake, apparently. Could have been, could have been.
Matt thought he had a pile of weeds on his lure, only to have a fish jump. Whatever it is, it's, it feels like a fair size. Probably a big pike or something. You got a branch and a pike all in one. Yeah, this is gonna get this is bad news, bears. Hang on a yeah, this is about to get messy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, around this branch. so Matt's got a branch on his line, and then break. about a foot after that branch is a pike. Almost. There he goes. We made it. Another good trip out here in Algonquin. I didn't. I uh, did not catch any fish. Matt got two pike this weekend, winning the pike fishing derby that we had going on that was unannounced. The inadvertent pike derby. Matt classifies himself as the pike master, so maybe that has something to do with it. And more importantly than anything else, we beat the bugs out here, which was pretty sweet.